What's mommy doing, baby? Coloring. I'm coloring? Kind of. You guys hear me talk about sunscreen and the importance of sunscreen all the time. But in turn, the question I get the most when it comes to sunscreen is how do you reapply your sunscreen throughout the day? So today I'm gonna share that. Now, I wanna make a distinction here. People want to know how to reapply sunscreen over makeup because obviously on days where you're not wearing makeup or if you don't wear makeup at all, it's easy to just keep reapplying the sunscreen that you tend to use on a regular basis. But when you have sunscreen on, it's a little bit harder to reapply your sunscreen without disturbing your makeup. So the solutions I'm sharing today are makeup friendly. The first one and probably my biggest go-to for reapplication is a spray sunscreen. And the one that I've been using the most is this one from Supergoop. This is their resetting refreshing mist. This is SPF 40. It does have broad spectrum protection. It's water and sweat resistant. And in my opinion, it's a really good sunscreen. I've actually talked about this product before, but in the past, it wasn't necessarily my go-to. My go-to used to be the one from Kate Somerville. And actually, I'd still say that that's probably one of my go-tos as well. It is a makeup setting spray that's an SPF 50. I really like that one, but it can be a little bit strong. And some people say that the fragrance is a little bit too strong for them too. It's not like a true fragrance. It's more or like the alcohol type of fragrance in it. So I'll throw out there, you're not gonna get away from that when you are using a spray sunscreen because the alcohol is a solvent. So it's really helping to get that sunscreen to actually spray out easily and feel really nice and leave a nice thin layer on your skin, but it's probably evaporating really quickly. So you just gotta hold your breath when you're using a spray, setting spray on your face. The reason why this is my go-to right now is because Supergoop actually fixed the spray nozzle on this to make it even more like a mint like a true fine mist on your face. The original one also was a mist, but it was the kind of spray mist that you would have to almost like put into your hand and then make it a lotion and then reapply it. Like when you tried to spray it on your face, it was a little bit gloppy. This one comes out really fine. Like it's such a nice fine mist now. So it works even better for your face. And you can hear they really tell you to like make sure that you're mixing this as well. This one has worked really well for me. It can make you a little bit more dewy looking, which I don't tend to mind. But I think the thing to point out with any of the reapplication methods is that you're gonna still have to touch up your makeup a little bit. This one just makes it easier to not have to redo your makeup completely. Like you're not going to disturb anything. It's going to spray on your face, but because it's a sprayer, it's not gonna be as even. So I highly recommend you take a beauty blender or some kind of a makeup sponge and you also just kind of press it onto your face very gently to try to not disturb your makeup as, as much as possible and then just expect that you're probably gonna have to just kind of powder down a little bit and maybe reapply some blush. That's usually what I have to do when I'm using a setting spray like this one. It's really good. I'm not sure if they reformulated the actual formula but this one has been my go-to over the last couple of months but before that like I said the Kate Somerville was my go-to and that was my go-to for years so both of them are great. This one is really great. I'll throw out there for people who don't like essential oils. This has like a rosemary and mint essential oil type of blend in it. I don't personally mind it. It has been totally fine on my skin. So I really just like this one. It's a really nice formula to use for reapplication. There are some tricks to know about this. One, you really, really need to shake it up. But two, before you actually spray it on, if you can, Try to clip your hair back a little bit. It helps because you do feel it get into your hair when you spray it. So you just wanna make sure you put your hair back. And then just make sure that you really coat your skin evenly with your spray because that's one of the big issues with sprays is that you wanna make sure that you are actually getting enough onto your skin to protect your face. But you can see it dries down really nicely. Sometimes I feel like I have to just kind of blend it a little bit, but it doesn't make me too glowy. But this is really great if you have an outdoor event, especially if you have a lot of makeup on, but you wanna make sure that you continue to wear sunscreen. That's where this one really comes in handy. But like I said, you're gonna eventually start to feel it in your hair. And if you have your hair in your face, it gets all over the front of it as well. And if you spray this inside a little too much, you might notice, especially in a bathroom, that your floor gets a little bit sticky too. Those are the only cons about this, but otherwise I really love this as a reapplication spray. 
Next up is stick sunscreen, and I've actually got two that I wanna show you. The first one is from Kahi. This is a Korean brand. This is their Aqua Balm. And when I first got this, I actually didn't realize it was a sunscreen. They sent me a few of their different balm sticks that they have, and the other ones are even more popular in Korea. They have one that's a vitamin C stick. They have another one that is meant to kind of give you that nourishment and glowiness to your skin. So I didn't even think when I saw Aqua Balm that this was a sunscreen, and then I looked closer and it's SPF 50, and and it's PA++++++. So it gives a lot of protection. But the thing that stood out to me for reapplication over makeup is that it dries down matte. So it actually can be very helpful for your makeup. When you put it on, it has this nourishing feel to it, but you can already see it's not super dewy looking at all. And when you touch it, it feels really nice on your skin, but it dries down to a very soft powdery finish. So what I found is that when I put this on, it disturbs my makeup a little bit just because I'm like, touching my face with it, but it helps to actually take down that greasy look that you get over time, like during the day. It actually helps to stop that greasy look from, from happening on your face. So it actually helps to keep your makeup kind of in place too. It's really, it's really hard to explain. But overall, it's really easy to use. It feels nice on your skin. It doesn't dry your skin out or overly mattify it. And it actually goes well with your makeup. It's it in some ways helps your makeup not look so greasy. Now, if you're having a hard time choosing which of the sunscreens to choose for reapplication, I'm gonna tell you to go for the Aqua Bomb by Kahi only because this one has that soft matte finish. So it's a really great finish and texture for most skin types. I like to put it on top of my makeup and it's so easy to use. I know I'm not gonna look really shiny and greasy and I know that it's not going to disturb my makeup very much considering that I'm putting it on top of my skin. And the best part is when I go out to dinner a little bit later on tonight, I'm actually just gonna put makeup on on top of this and it's not gonna look really gross. So this is so easy to just add to your skincare routine. I keep this in my purse and I reapply whenever I feel like I need it and it actually makes my skin look really nice. And then the last sunscreen is this one from Elta MD. This is their UV Stick Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Plus. This one is my go-to when I don't have a lot of makeup on. This one is a much more dewy finish. It's very moisturizing for your skin. It gives that kind of glow that you might want for your skin. So I tend to reach for this one because I like that nourishing feel and I do prefer a glowy look to my skin. When you first start to use it and it hasn't warmed up on your skin because it's more of like a, an emollient type of sunscreen stick, I do find that like that first swipe can sometimes remove some of your makeup, but the minute it warms up, which is really quick, it actually glides over your makeup really easily. But because you're gonna get more of that dewy finish and it's more emollient, it will break down your makeup a little bit more than something like the Kahi stick which is meant to be a little bit more matte. So I will give you a heads up, like this one's gonna maybe disturb your makeup a little bit more. So if you've got like a full beat happening, this is not going to be the sunscreen that you want to use for reapplication. But if it's like more of a very like no makeup makeup look, like you don't have a lot on, maybe some concealer, maybe some blush, something like that, then this is my go-to for reapplication. I take this even on the airplane with me because I just love this one so much. It's so easy and you don't have to touch your face. And I think that's the reason why I like this one for reapplication is, you know, when you're you're out and about and you want to reapply your sunscreen, you don't want to actually touch your face if you don't have the ability to wash your hands. So if you want to reapply and, you know, like not worry about that, then this is a really good one. A few people have asked me about, you know, like, is it gross to use this? And then, you know, like you transfer makeup to it and then you reapply it to your face over and over again. Isn't that just going to cause problems too? Yes and no. Whenever a product is made to be directly applied to your skin, there are a lot of preservatives put into it to account for that and the testing that they do on it usually accounts for that that it's going to be touching your skin what i tend to do is i just take a napkin after i use it and i just wipe that top surface of it and it just takes off any like layer of makeup that might have gotten on it or anything like that and it seems to be totally fine i know some people when i've told them that they're like oh that wastes the product but this stick lasts for a long time it does not waste a lot of the product trust me so i really love this one i like a dewy finish it's not going to complement like a full beat of makeup so i would go with a kahi stick in that case 
or with the resetting spray, but this one just feels really good. So if you like a dewy look, this is the one. Also of the three options that I'm sharing in this video, this is the only one that's 100% mineral sunscreen. I find that mineral sunscreen is really hard for reapplication to get it right when you're you know reapplying over makeup. And that's just because mineral sunscreen tends to be a little bit thicker, a little bit pastier. It can leave a little bit of a white cast. It can be drying, all of those things. So I think that's why I like this one so much is that it is 100% mineral and to me it gives a dewy finish to your skin. So it's really dependent on the type of finish that you want with your makeup, but I just really love this one, especially because it's a 100% mineral. So, you know, if you're looking for all mineral, this is the only one of the three options. Now this is a sunscreen that I probably use the most for reapplication, mostly because I use it on days where I'm just gonna be hanging out with the kiddos. Huh, do you like sunscreen? Yeah. So this is the one that I'm gonna use, you know, if I'm gonna go out and about and we're gonna be sweating and in the sun. Show them how you put your sunscreen on. The reason why I like this one when I'm with the kids is because it's the one that I use on them too. Huh, do we wear sunscreen? Uh-huh. I also feel like it gives a nice little glow. On her, you can see that it gives a little bit of a white cast, but as I rub it in, it goes away. And she doesn't really care anyway. Oh, too much on your forehead. Too much, too much. Okay, so we go like this. And then like this, you put too much right there on your eyebrow. Ta-da! Ta-da! Say, wear sunscreen. Wear sunscreen. <laughs> now, I know a lot of people have, you know, like put out there that they like to use like a compact sunscreen where they pat it onto your skin. You can do that too. In my opinion, those tend to disturb my makeup more or you're like just basically reapplying your foundation all over again. There's nothing wrong with that either. I'm trying to like disturb my makeup as little as possible. And for me, these are the ways that I do it. So there's definitely more ways than this that you can reapply your sunscreen. By the way, if you're wondering why I don't mention powder sunscreen, screen. It's because I like the concept of them. This one is from Supergoop. I like the concept of them because, you know, it's so much easier to use powder when you're reapplying, but I just don't think they give enough protection. If it's the only thing that you'll use, then it's better than nothing, but I don't know. They're just not my go-to. I don't think that they give enough protection to really be your sunscreen. I do like this one though from Super Goop and from Color Science, they have one also that's really great. So if you're looking to reapply your sunscreen without disturbing your makeup, these are the ways that I prefer to do it. These are the products that I have been using lately, but I'd love to know what you guys are doing too. So tell me in the comments below what you use for reapplying your sunscreen throughout the day. Find me on Instagram, I'm at Susan Yara, and I'll talk to you guys soon.